Yo, yo, everybody, and welcome to the next episode in Dorgo's Adventure. Now, previously, we managed to acquire this beautiful, beautiful town from our new best friends, the Sturgeons. It's wonderful. We're down here, far away from the Sturgeons, actually. And whilst that's dangerous a little bit, at the moment, it will be great later when we leave Sturgeon and take everything with us. To create new Britannia and then we will be hopefully in a good position to uh, sweep the world but for now we have entered war with the Vlandians and we are a little bit isolated now our city also does not have a lot of defenders but I have taken a prudent action and I have decided to add a governor to our city our brother Niasan because he adds a lot of bonuses which may or may not work, I'm not sure. Niasan is in here and he is using all my money to make this town good. Now, you might notice that security is going down and loyalty is going down, but you know, they don't know how fantastic we are yet. Of course, they're not too loyal yet and it actually doesn't matter because uh, this is implemented in the next couple of patches, I believe. But security matters only due to the amount of men in a town and we obviously don't have enough yet but we will so first things we need more men to guard our town let's have a quick look around in the villages see if we can get some uh, little nubs and then we'll probably join Ragenbad's army to besiege down the town oh right none of these people will like us you know what never mind let's go help siege just over here We're going to have a quick look. Oh, is the army gone? Ugh, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Let's have a quick look and see if they've got... Yeah, got some mercenaries. Excellent. Some troops. Nope. Not too strange. Well, what then? Hire some men. From some villages that haven't been burnt down, maybe. I should actually be very careful. Valandia should be very aware of this being the least defended city. Ah! Someone from Valandia. Let's say hello. Aha! Someone called Anne Struder. But, uh, looks like we're gonna destroy her, so I don't think it's worth giving her a voice. She's just... We're going to fight this fight because I don't want to leave anything to chance. And Dorgo does need to wet his axe at least once an episode or else he'll go insane. Right, here we are. Nice open field. I think I even see the enemy. Just having everybody charge except the archers, which uh, I'm going to command because I am... A good commander. Oh, horsemen are coming in. Ooh, they are going to feel the pain of death, aren't they? Ooh. Oh, oh, they got Na Aethleen. Get him. Where are they even? Oh, we, we got him. Okay, good. Let's go. Oh, recruits. Oh, Vlandian recruits are the best recruits because of their stupid farming weapons. Farming weapons are exceptional against horses, don't you know? Luckily, they're no match for the mighty axe of Dwargo. Or maybe it's their rags that aren't. Who knows? There we go. We did it. Oh, we lost eight people. More than I had hoped. You're my prisoner now. We can't afford to let them roam around since they might want to take the city. Prisoners. Good. We're not hiring looters though. What? 
You're shitting me! Uh... Our little sister! Right. I forgot. We've got to execute all of the Vlandians. Every single one. You're welcome, Simia. You're my prisoner now. We only got one of them. One is enough to kill. I have no words. They are all going to lose their heads now. Every single one of these dirty rats. Chasing my party, are you? Well, good. You shouldn't be. I can fight you all. Hello, Ingeltrud. You would like to know my name? Surrender or die is the name. And this is why Kareen is an archer in the back lines, and why Niasan is now the governor of our town. No, you're not running away, you little bitches. You're all dying. There's not going to be any escape from Dwargo now. Into the fold, you shit. Let's go, mister. You want to fight, Dwargo? You're very welcome to. Let's go. Uh, looks like an army disbanded here. Very close to Artesia. And they are not even sure what they're doing anymore. So close. Going to have to play this smart. Although this man is going to a village. Hmm. Not if it's close to me, he isn't. You're chasing the party? Well. What kind of game are we going to do to decide if this one lives? Hmm, is she Vlandian? Oh, she is! That's how we determine if someone needs to die. Time to get rid of these worthless prisoners. The Sturgeons declared war against another country. Woohoo! Good stuff. See if, uh, yeah, gotta upgrade this one afterwards as well. Make sure the upgrades are flowing. Prosperity is minus, probably because loyalty is nothing. 
Found village issues. Governor's culture, culture, loot, ooh. Not going well, is it, Niasen? Can't face Niasen right now. Let's see if we can catch any of the other Vlandians out whilst we're at it. Oh, and this is a big fight. It's a big fight. Let's see if these guys want to join in. Could be a lot of dead Vlandians. Guess we'll have to circle it like a vulture. Make sure we pick some of these scumbags off. Well, these guys don't even know where they're going. Oh? You want to fight me? Maybe I should just let them see how they handle me. Do you know what? Doesn't even matter if the friends get here. Let's fight. Hmm. Happy are you? You're not gonna be happy when I'm done with you. Landia will burn. Let's put them in their place in the ground. Bad moment to break lines, pals. Now it's time to attack. They're all gonna burn in their graves. Mm, lost a significant amount of troops. Or not us? No, not our party at least. Yes, well, I suppose you think you're going to Valhalla or some shit. Well, I'll send you there if that's where you want to go. Hey, troops. Nice. Lassand has died in battle and Svidorn has died in battle. Who? And gallant Vlandian just died in battle. Good. Oh, and the noble that fought with us died. Oh, I did like him. He was a good man. I just met him. But we fought well together. Hmm, his party remains. Unsure what to do. I wonder if the game thinks he's still here. No. We're taking hefty losses in this episode. But so are you. I'm sure we have many enemies now. And we are also deceitful. Should say sadistic, but whatever you say. We still have friends. Hella dog. <laughs> sure. Many enemies. Athene. These wars are taking every last ounce of everything out of us. Builders army, let's help that out. Maybe we can free some prisoners. Hmm. Here we go. Attack time. Oh, Vlendian, see you will die. Oh, Vlendians, you will die. Oh, Vlendians.
Canadians, you're all gonna die. You're all gonna die a painful death like that guy. And in the head, in the balls, in where it hurts. Take it in the shirt, you Blandian pig. Ouch. Oof. And I'm out. Okay. Well, we did something. Let's put up these ladders. If there are any. There's no ladders? What is this? There's always ladders. Or is there not? Huh? Where are the ladders in this shithole? Over here? I don't see any ladders. What is this? What kind of siege is this? What are we going to do if all our machines fail? Hmm. Oh well, I guess we're waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting behind a little wall. Waiting, waiting, waiting before we can chop them all. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I don't know what else to rhyme. Waiting, waiting, waiting. They're all going to die. This is what they did back in the days, guys. They helped chop down the main gate with axes. I, I know it. Get all you want. It's not gonna help. You were born here and you will die here. Death to land here. We're getting there with the influence. And we're joining this army. Oh. What's this? Morvlandians? Well, well, well. Seems like we'll get to chop off a lot of heads. Although I think we've chopped off quite a lot already. So we're going to put an end to this sad, sad episode right here. How many victims must we suffer to achieve New Britannia? I don't know. I just pray that Walker remains at the end of it all to see his beautiful nation come to life. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.